There's hope, I feel it rising up in me. I feel it rising up in me. CBS News Philadelphia, finding heart in every beat. Two men are now giving back after they saw this viral video right here showing 24 year old Nikki Bullock's back windshield being smashed in by a biker. Once you see the kids, it's like, oh my God, there's kids in the car. Um, I think that was for me was like when I feel like I needed to step in and help out a little bit. She looked me dead in my eyes and she told me that she'll never forget me. See what happens when two people come together? Imagine when everyone comes together. Society grows great when people plant trees that they know they'll never sit in the shade of. Leave something better for who comes behind us. Connecting you to the places we all call home. The boat, which seats up to six, takes people out onto the Delaware River, offering sweeping views of the city's skyline. Does this ever get old of you coming out here? Absolutely not, I mean. <laughs> this has been a really fun career for me, and I would love to see more people that look like me and my community out on the water. The largest Hindu temple in the United States opened in Mercer County today. Atlantic City Police and the Fire Department have been using drones since 2018 to help find missing people in the city and during a large fire. But this will be the first time that the Beach Patrol will be utilizing drones and we're told they can help cut minutes off of a rescue. At least one shelter in Philadelphia is experiencing an urgent need now for adoptions. Adoption isn't the only thing the community can do to help. She encourages people to foster, volunteer, and consider donating money. The toll of this war is being felt right here in our local communities. People will die on both sides. That is the tragedy of it. Enough is enough. I have Palestinian friends, I have Arab friends, and we live together peacefully. And the only way to get to a peace for everyone is to treat people with the respect and dignity they deserve.